Hi everyone, welcome back to the my project. My name is Anil and in this react native video tutorial we will see how we can style a list. So in the previous video we just get the data from the API and just render here. But this is not look like nice UI because we did not apply the style on it. So in this video we will apply the style as I told you in the last video. So if you just want to see how we can call the API and just uh, render this data on the UI with the help of uh, flat list then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box now let's look out the points of this video there is only four uh, small points first of all we will apply the background color then we will make a wrapper to this list then we have to add the row style and we will make a table header so that we can identify which is the name which is the email address and which is the address all right so here uh, I am just going to remove the style uh, tag also from here so that uh, we can just learn it from the very scratch so first of all what we you need to do with the style so you just have to import the uh, style sheet like this and this style sheet will be uh, make a constant so now let's write here const styles and style sheet dot create and create actually uh, take a parameter as an object and in this object we will write our complete style so i will just going to define some classes uh, first of all let's apply the body and the body will be responsible for the complete screen layout then i am just going to make a list wrapper and this wrapper will uh, make a wrapper around this list and uh, at the last i am just going to define here row and row will basically provide the style and length and the padding to the every uh, row or you can say that the as well as the column of the uh, table so after doing this um, let's start with the body so i am just going to apply here background color yeah but i have to put here colon also so now just write here background color and background color can be uh, for a red for a moment I am just going to see told you that how it's going to work and here we have to just use the style and style will take a styles dot body because this is our main wrapper that's why I will apply the style here and styles will come from here and body will be the object of it so now let's try to refresh it and now you will find that we got the background color but this is not a complete body background that's why I can add here flex 1 and it will stretch the background color till the complete screen alright so let's make it white like this alright and after that let's uh, just define the uh, two more uh, columns here or two more text so that I can just uh, define the like name and uh, in the other tools I will define the email and the address also so now let's just remove this thing and whenever I'm just going to save it you will see a very ugly UI even more ugly than <laughs> this is uh, current all right because now the every name email and the address will become in a single column all right the reason is because this complete uh, text will take the complete line so how we can control it so controlling it uh, first of all i am just going to apply here wrapper so just write here styles dot uh, list wrapper and in the list wrapper i have to apply the three properties all right so first of all I will apply here um, flex direction and flex direction will be the row so that the children will be just coming in a complete row right now you can see that the all three children are coming in a single row but they don't have space right now and uh, for the space we have to write the style inside the uh, this row object but uh, let's complete it first of all after that uh, just write here flex wrap what does that mean flex wrap mean when a row will just uh, touch the border of the mobile screen then it will not going to hide this will be 
just come automatically in the next line all right so after it i can just add some uh, border also so border width can be one and now you will see that with the every row we have a bottom uh, line also all right so i am just going to make a more thin to this line right so now you have a very very light line here so now let's add some more style in the row so first of all i am just going to add a background color uh, can be white but this is also white if you just want to apply then you can apply with that way right now if you just put the flex one then it will stretch with the complete screen uh, you want to see how for that you have to just apply the style here and just right here st uh, sorry styles dot pro and this style should be applied on a all tags tags all right so now you will see that this is uh, in the complete stretched way and the every uh, you can say that the row have the our complete direction and they are looking like a table perfect so uh, but we can just add a little bit font size also so just write here font size and font size can be like 18 that we can just capture it a little, little bit large then we can also apply the flags uh, no padding also so, so just add a padding horizontal and padding horizontal can be like 10 but uh, after that you will see that in the the some email address are coming in the next row because uh, they don't have the space here right so i am just going to add here only five as well the font size will be gonna 16. all right but this is not perfect till now so that we can add uh, uh, Mm, only two padding like this uh, we have to more reduce than uh, 13 font size yeah that's perfect but uh, I know this is a very small font but when you just uh, just uh, check it in the screen then you will find this is the perfect because this is the emulator and emulator don't give the real effects all right so now let's go ahead and uh, and 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 yeah the style is little bit complete but we can add a padding horizontal sorry sorry vertical and let's put here 10 and now you will get the space between the lines like this All right. so uh, let's say you just want to add here one more column like id then there is a very simple way because the sp this screen is completely responsive then you don't need to anything do well like this just write here id and you will find a next row also here like this All right but this is not required now so that I can just remove it for a moment yeah and let's add the header of this table also so for that let's copy this uh, complete wrapper and paste here and let's just make the name and let's make it to the email and at the last let's make it the address and let's save it let's go on a list and now you will find their name email and address have kind of header and we these have the list so now maybe you think that if the list size is uh, more than 100 then uh, maybe we are not able to see the more results but you will see for example if i am just going to apply the vertical uh, padding is 50 then you will find that we have the more space grabbed by the every row and you can see that just if you are ignoring the header then uh, complete list are getting scrolled here right so if we have the much result then don't worry they will be scrolled automatically so this is the way that how you can design a screen and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and in the upcoming video we will make a form add the new restaurant all right and we will do it here and uh, uh, after that we have to add here columns also uh, some icons to delete and edit this result specifically all right 
So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.